Well, one of the most important ways someone can honor their heritage is by passing it on to the next generation, teaching them the traditions and history of their culture. Award-winning artist John Para is hoping to be a part of essential education, helping kids across the country celebrate their Mexican heritage. And he joins us this morning to talk about his new children's book, Growing an Artist, the story of a landscaper and his son. John, thank you so much for joining us. Oh, thank you, Rachel, for having me. It's a pleasure. Of course. And you've been illustrating children's literature for years now, <laughs> but this is your first time as an author. So why was this so important, this message to share? Um, well, I think I've had this idea of writing a story about uh, this father-son kind of dynamic uh, for a long time, um, especially in the Latino community. There, we in families, there are many. We have many small businesses, and it's often you know the children and the the, the parents that work together uh, to kind of have this this wonderful relationship, um, which I also had when I was growing up with my father. And I kind of wanted to tell that story, but it's also the story about an artist, uh, the little boy who's a young artist who likes to draw and is very creative, and he takes his sketchbook with him. And, and throughout the day, he sort of finds out when he's with his father, who's a landscape contractor, um, how they both can work together uh, creatively and share that experience and sort of uh, develop this creativity and have this wonderful uh, sort of father-son, parent-child uh, relationship. Yeah, that's lovely. And, and you just basically started to touch on this in the book. You celebrate <laughs> your father and your Mexican heritage. So just how did that help grow the artist in you? Um, well, it's a big inspiration for me. My Latino background and culture has definitely inspired me, uh, whether through art or through music or through designs. Um, I'm very inspired by a lot of Latino um uh, you know, um, artists and creatives. And so that definitely, since the very beginning of my career has been a focal point uh, for me and telling those stories I feel is important. So when I got a chance to tell my own personal story and my own sort of background and family story, I just jumped at the opportunity. And I think sharing this, um, these, these, this story and these, this sort of themes with people because we celebrate the language and we celebrate the food and we celebrate um, what we do. And I think it's just, I think it's just a special and fun and heartfelt story that I wanted to share. Yeah, and this is a real treat. You'll be in LA this weekend as part of your book tour. Where can we find your book? And then also how can people meet you in person? Um, well, you can find the book um, in bookstores or online. It's it's available now. It came out last week. And also for in-person events, I'm going to be in Thousand Oaks at the Barnes & Noble there this Saturday, uh, May 28th. And on the 29th, Sunday, I'm going to be at Skylight Books in Los Angeles, which is a great homecoming for me because I don't think I've been uh, had an event in Los Angeles for more than 20 years So I'm because I'm based in New York now. So very cool. And I was just going to ask you, I know that you went to school here. Can you talk about Correct. that? Correct. Yes, I went to an art center out in Pasadena uh, many moons ago, but um, it's always coming back to LA has always been, you know, a, a homecoming. I see family, I see friends. And that's what's really wonderful about this book tour that I'm going on. I'm going to be in San Diego and Los Angeles and just, just getting to reunite with a lot of people that I know. I'm also going to be speaking at Cerritos High School. Um, and it's just going to be a wonderful sort of homecoming that's been sort of long overdue, but um, excited to be there. And, and John, before we let you go, what message do you hope that children and their families take away from your book? Um, that about uh, being proud of who you are and where you come from, and also about learning about creativity, because through creativity, we're able to problem solve creatively and we find ways to uh, overcome situations or, or, or problems that we may have in the world or just for fun. You know, it's just fun to be being an artist and doing art. Absolutely. John Para, award winning artist and author of Growing an Artist, the story of a landscaper and his son. Thank you again so much for being here and safe travels back home. Thank you very much.